SpaceX now another stunning blow to liberty from the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. John Roberts has done it again. Roberts siding with the radical extreme and anti-constitutional wing of the high court to snuff out hope of possibly saving lives in Louisiana. A divided U.S. Supreme Court on Thursday blocked a Louisiana abortion law a day before it was supposed to go into effect. However, that action is only temporary. The Republican-backed law passed in 2014, but has been tied up in litigation since then and has never been enforced. It requires the doctors who perform abortions to have what's called admitting privileges at a hospital within 30 miles of the clinic. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, this is a very simple law. It's very, it's common sense that you, if you're doing a major procedure like an abortion, you ought to have admitting privileges uh, to a hospital. But I think my buddy Daniel Horowitz hit the nail on the head. And this reporter kind of swerved into it too. And that is Roberts is now the new Anthony Kennedy. I don't take it so seriously in regards to the very serious subject matter that this ruling is in regards to. It's a temporary uh, ruling that literally says we're going to take a full look at the concept and the underlying law. I think that this ruling uh, is more illustrative of what everybody says during these um, confirmation hearings, Graham, which is you can't predict how people are going to vote once they get on the court because they're not controlled usually by politics. They're controlled by their interpretation of the state law in uh, regards to the U.S. law uh, governed by the Constitution. What I really like about this is maybe it'll calm down the next ruling uh, of the Judiciary Committee, which might be soon if Ruth Bader Ginsburg never comes back to hear cases and Donald Trump gets another nominee. Yeah. Uh, the Judiciary Committee pounds on these nominees demanding to know how they're going to vote on rulings that they don't know anything about that don't even exist yet. And here's an example of how justices vote the law, not necessarily uh, their political constituency. Yeah. And in regards well, to this ruling, like I said, it's temporary. We'll see what happens. I just, I'm just worried about uh, uh, Roberts because he seems to be swinging more and more to the left. You know, a constitutionalist is neither left or nor right. A constitutionalist is a constitutionalist. Now, I don't know what Roberts is trying to be except, as I said, the next Anthony Kennedy. Now, the president had his physical today. I uh, went to the hospital, had his physical. Meantime, there's this wacko professor from Yale, this Brandy Lee, who is uh, got some sort of group of psychiatrists or psychologists together, and they're somehow from afar want us to believe that they're going to evaluate the mental health of the president. This may be, and I mean this literally, the stupidest idea I have heard in regards to the presidency, maybe ever. This psychiatrist who just finished a book about how mentally unstable Trump is uh, wants to have a committee that's going to decide the mental fitness of future candidates. I think he wants to start with Trump yes. and be able to disallow a candidate based on their mental instability decided by a committee uh, of people he's going to select. This will never happen. He wants to take away the rights of hundreds of millions of Americans who vote, and the political process that takes two years to vet somebody, believe me, they catch the mentally unstable. Remember the Howard Dean went crazy in one press conference and his political career was over in 15 seconds? Uh, the American electorate is a lot smarter and a lot more able to discern who belongs in the White House than a psychiatrist with a political agenda. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah. No, this is just another open attack on the 45th president of the United States. Never would have been suggested when Obama was in office. No, it's suggested now. This Brandy Lee. Brandy Lee is the one that needs the mental examination, in my opinion. Barry, thanks.